Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how hackers are able to crack Wi-Fi networks using Hashcat. Hashcat is a network cracking tool that is used by hackers and penetration testers. I'll be hacking my own Netgear router, so please don't go ahead and hack somebody else's device for some reason, as this video is for educational purposes only. Before we move on into the video, I would like to say thank you for your support and please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Now let's dive into the video. In case you did not know, you can utilize a more powerful GPU on the cloud for password cracking purposes. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see how that can be done. Now depending on what type of router you are working with, they usually follow the same password syntax. For example, some routers use a 10 digit phone number as their default password. Others use random character combinations. And in my case, since I'll be attacking my own Netgear router, they use a default password, which includes an adjective, a noun, and three random numbers. For me, I have already researched my router and discovered that it's identified by an adjective, a noun, and a set of three digit numbers. I highly suggest researching your own router since you'll be able to find many resources either on Reddit or on GitHub or on other websites. As you can see in my case, there's a word list that has an adjective, a noun, and three digit numbers ready for anyone to download from here, from GitHub. Now you need three main things to execute this brute force attack. And I have two of these things right in here. First, we need the wordlist.txt file. And you can find many different types of word lists online depending on the router you have. And you can find those especially on GitHub. And again, since I'm attacking my own Netgear router, I'll be using a word list specific to Netgear routers. And it's a big file. As you can see, there is about half a million combinations in this file alone. Now, the second thing we need is a handshake. And I have shown you how to get the handshake file in my previous video using Wi-Fi. You can find that video somewhere in the top right hand corner right here. And the last thing we need is Hashcat, which is a tool that we'll be using to crack the Wi-Fi password. So let's see how we can download and install Hashcat. Uh, this is their website. I will include this link in the description of this video. And from here, you can check out the tool's different features and what it has to offer. If you had any questions or faced any issues, please comment down below and I will try to help you out with whatever issue you're having. Or you can use Hashcat's form to ask your questions here as well. Now let's go back to the main page and make sure you download your latest GPU drivers. As you can see here under the GPU driver requirements, in my case, I have already updated my GPU drivers. So I am all good. I was using the AMD Adrenaline Edition. So after you update your GPU drivers, all we have to do is to download the Hashcat binaries. And we have those right in here. I will click on download and it's a zip file as you can see, .7z. That means it's a zip file. And I will save it in my downloads folder. So I'll click on save. And we have it right in here, downloaded and ready. Now let's extract this zip file. So I'll right click it. In my case, I'm using Windows 11. So I'll do show more options. I will then click on seven zip and extract it in here. And awesome, now we have the extracted folder called Hashcat with the version number. Now the last thing we need to do here is to convert our handshake file, which is this one. And we need to convert it to a modern Hashcat compatible file. So Hashcat will be able to read it. And we can do that simply from the Hashcat website. So let's go back in here and I will click on the converter tab in here, hit on choose file, and I will select my Handshake file, which in my case is called Handshake Netgear .cap. Click on open. And again, I have got the .cap file from the Wi-Fi tool, which I have discussed in the previous video. So once that's done, I will hit on convert. And awesome, the conversion was successful. I will click on download. And as you can see, this is now our new converted Handshake file. Let's rename this to Handshake to make it findable and easier to read. 
and let's click on save and now we have the new handshake file that hashcat will be able to read and finally let's move the wordless.txt file and the new handshake file to the hashcat folder so again this is our new handshake file and this is my word list so i will select both and i will simply drag them to the hashcat folder and that's it we are now ready to run hashcat and by the way we need to run hashcat through the command line prompt so let's open the hashcat folder and if you are using windows 11 like myself you can simply right click the folder and click on open in terminal this will open this exact path in the terminal and if you are using windows 10 you can simply copy the folder path and you can find it right in here so i'll copy this one and then let's search for cmd this is the command prompt app i will run this as administrator and in here i'll do cd followed by the path and to paste anything in the command line prompt you can simply do right click on the mouse just like that and I will hit enter. Perfect, now we are inside the hashcat folder from the command line prompt. I'll just make this bigger for you. And awesome, once you are here, you can simply do hashcat.exe. This is the name of the executable file that exists in the hashcat folder. And you can actually see it by doing dir. This will list all the files that are inside the hashcat folder and here is the file hashcat.exe so let me clear this and i will do hashcat.exe followed by dash uppercase i hit enter now this will show us the available devices that we can use with hashcat these devices will be used to brute force the password for us in my case i have one device available it's a gpu device and it's device number one so make sure to use the correct device number depending on what type of device you want to use. Once you have identified the device we want to use, let's do hashcat.exe once again, followed by dash D to specify the device number that I want to use. And my GPU has number one, so I'll do number one in here. Next, I will do dash M 22,000. Then I'll do dash W number three then dash dash status and then dash a6 next i will give it the handshake file and if you remember we named it handshake so let me write handshake and to auto complete the file name for us i will just hit the tab button on my keyboard and as you can see it auto completed the extension next let's give it the wordless file that we want to use in my case it's called wordless.txt so i will do the tab trick again just like that and finally i will do question mark d question mark d question mark d this will tell hashcat to add every possible three random numbers on every word in the word list again i am adding the three numbers because netgear routers use a random three digit numbers at the end of the router password and that's it the command is ready feel free to pause the video here to see the details of each option i used in this command and once you are ready hit enter now the cracking process has been started the length of time needed to complete this process can depend on multiple factors including the size of the word list file the selected options that we used with hashcat and the processing speed of your gpu now that time frame can span from few minutes to several weeks depending on these variables and you can always hit the s on your keyboard to check the status of this process p to pause it b to skip the current attack and go to the next attack c is to create a restore point and f to finish this process and q to quit the whole process now this should take a couple of minutes so i will speed up the recording and i will pause it as soon as hashcat discovers the password and perfect if we look at the status we can see that it's now cracked and here is the actual password of this wi-fi network iccar482 so hackers can now use this password, this cracked password, and log in into this Wi-Fi network. And once they are inside this home network, it's pretty much game over at this point, because they can execute much stronger and effective attacks on other connected devices. For example, once they are connected to the network, 
hackers will be able to sniff your usernames and passwords by downgrading HTTPS websites into HTTP. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a video about that as well. As you have seen, Hashcat can be extremely dangerous and effective when cracking passwords. If you like this video and you would like to see much more, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.